Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. And as you can see, we've got Android N here on the Nexus 5X. Google surprised us a bit by releasing this today. Uh, so we'll go over some of the new features because they're actually a surprising amount of new features for a first release of a dev preview. Uh, so we'll start right off here with something that you're gonna see right away, and that's notifications. So this is completely new. Uh, across the top, we have smaller icons for the quick toggles. So instead of having to do a double swipe or swipe with two fingers to get these, they're there all the time. Uh, and then you can swipe again to kind of make them bigger. And now we actually have two different pages that you can put it on. And you can tap the edit button there and really add more toggles, which is actually awesome that they've done that. Uh, the second thing you'll notice is that notifications themselves are full screen now uh, and they're not separated into cards so it's just kind of one big block of notifications that you can swipe away and when you do swipe away you can kind of see that uh, settings icon you can do that so that's cool uh, and swipe it away like so uh, another thing that's different about the notifications apps like messenger here where you can um, reply if you just tap reply, it actually shows up right in the notification. There's no pop-up or anything like that. So you can just reply and we're good to go. Uh, and the apps, now it's gonna be gone, so it's not gonna show, but when they are on the lock screen, they show up in the same way. They go all the way across the screen, edge to edge. Uh, another big thing you'll notice right away is gonna be multitasking. So this is what it looks like now, and you can see that the previews are a lot bigger, but something that you don't see is multitasking, uh, dual window mode. So for example, let's take Hangouts here, long press, drag it up to the top of the screen, and now I have Hangouts in this top part, and now I can scroll through the bottom and choose an app to put down here. So I'll tap Twitter. It says it may not work with split screen, but Twitter is actually one of the third party apps that is working. Not all of them do. Um, so for example, here's an app that doesn't and it just puts it right into full screen right away. Obviously this is a beta um, developer preview, so it's not too surprising. Uh, but one thing you will notice is see how my notification uh, status bar here is green right now. When you tap home, uh, it, it shows that you are using multi-window mode. So it just stays green because my Hangouts is still up there. So when I hit the multitasking button again, I can switch right back into it. So let's use YouTube this time. And there we go, running YouTube. Uh, and then if you want to close one of them, you can just kind of drag up like that. And then we got full screen app again. Now we'll hop into the settings. So it was rumored that settings would get an overhaul and they indeed have. Um, first thing you'll notice at the top, we actually have suggestions. So right now it's giving me a suggestion to use OK Google search. Oh, I actually really surprised it didn't just go off right there. <laughs> um, but you can see there's just a lot more information here. So it's actually telling me the percent of the battery and how much Time I have left, three hours left, 77%. That's not looking too good. Um, and then you can scroll all the way down and see other stuff. And we have the hamburger menu, the slide out menu, like we saw in some leaked screenshots. So if I wanna hop right to battery, whoop. and I'll take this time to remind you guys that this is a developer preview and something weird's happening. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there are a few buggy things, but that's to be expected. Um, so that's the settings. Really nice. Uh, it's a lot easier to navigate around with this hamburger menu, so that's cool. Uh, let's go back into the settings again, actually. And we'll go to data usage, data saver. So this is a new feature that will allow people to save data if you're on a really limited plan. Uh, you can turn this on, maybe. Okay, they were gone on, I think, off. 
Okay, now we're on. Um, but yeah, this will just let you uh, save data on things uh, if you have a plan that doesn't have a huge data allotment. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and the things that you're not going to see, doze mode apparently works better now. So um, right now, doze mode only really works if your phone is off and completely static like that, not moving at all. Yeah, so if it's in your pocket and you're walking around and the screen is off, it's still not going to be working. But now I guess they've made it so if the screen's off, it can still work even if your phone is moving around. So that's just a really quick uh, look at some of the new features of Android N. We'll have much more on Fandroid to come, so stay tuned and thanks for watching, guys.